What's up guys, Gabriel Braga here. Today we're talking about treadmills, more specifically treadmill running routines. And the treadmill running routine that I've been using for over 12 years that has helped me get such great cardio when it's cold outside. Basically, how do you stay fit for your fights when it's too cold to run outside and you have to use the treadmill? What routine should you be using? We're gonna talk about that right now. All right guys, like I said, it's a treadmill day and I'm actually in a tiny little hotel gym today because I'm down in San Diego and I'm actually here because I'm gonna be scooting up to LA in a day to do some filming with a couple big YouTube channels. Super excited about that. But right now we're in San Diego. I need to get a workout in. I'm heading on the treadmill because it's kind of smoky outside so I'd rather stay indoors. So we're gonna talk about the routine that I've been using for years. All right, once I get myself stretched out, a little bit warmed up, I start my run with a one five minute round at 6.2 miles per hour. I don't know why I chose 6.2. It's just something that I've established. You know, I might've started at six and bumped it up. But anyway, that's what I start with. A nice little jog for five minutes just to get the body going. All right, now once your body is a little bit warmed up from that five minute run, but not quite ready, for a full sprint yet, I do intervals. So I'll go 6.2 for one minute and then bump it up to 10 miles per hour for one minute. And I'll go back and forward between those two for a total of 10 minutes. I find this one really opens up the lungs and really gets me prepared for the full sprints which come after. Okay, yeah. now, once we've got those out of the way, I've got my warm-up jog, I've got my interval sprints back and forward, now we're ready for the hard part, which is 10 sprints at full speed. Most of these max out at 12 miles per hour. So we're going full 12 miles per hour, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And you're gonna toggle back and forward between that for 10 times. I use this method, sort of three on, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off, so it's sort of similar to a fight round where you're doing three minutes on, one minute off. Guys, just do me a favor and be extra careful when you're getting on and off the treadmill. Really use those handles. Make sure you lock in before your feet take control and start running, or when you're running, you get your hands there and then lift your feet up and make sure you can support your weight. I've heard of a few people who have actually gone off the treadmill while doing this drill, so extra caution is great. Now realistically, at the beginning of a training camp, I'm not gonna make a full 10 of these in a row, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. That 10 second break is hardly anything. It's just enough time to recover a tiny bit. So when I start my training camp, I just do six. And then the next time I go to seven or eight, and then I get to nine or 10 within, I'd say about two weeks. All right guys, and the last routine I do is getting that treadmill and inclining it all the way to the top, which is 15% on most treadmills. I put it on eight miles per hour on that 15% incline, and I go one minute on, one minute off, back and forward for three times in total.
And this end of routine workout is great for another treadmill routine that I'll go through in the future where you really test your cardio and just stick it on the full incline and just go until you can't go anymore. But start by building up with that one minute on, one minute off, full incline, eight miles per hour. This is actually used as a fitness test in some universities, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this little treadmill routine and this kind of dingy little gym in San Diego. I'd say with little breaks between each one, you know, I do my warm up, I take a little two or three minute breather, then I do my interval sprints, again, two or three minute breather, sort of taking that little rest in between. So for the whole thing in total, it's kind of about 40 minutes. And then when you start with a stretch and then a cool down at the end and then do some abs, it's a nice hour routine. If you have any questions about the routine, throw them in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Also, be sure to subscribe. And for the next video, we're gonna head up to LA. Not sure what I'm gonna film yet, but it'll be fun. See you guys then.